use of electronic calculators. Candidates are expected to have an electronic non-programmable calculator and are encouraged to use such a calculator in paper 2. Guidelines for the use of electronic calculators are listed below. Silent electronic calculator, handheld calculators may be used. Candidates should or calculators should be battery or solar powered. Candidates are responsible for ensuring that calculators are in working condition. Candidates are permitted to bring a set of spare batteries in the examination room. No compensation will be given to candidates because of faulty calculators. No help or advice is permitted in the use or repair of calculators during the examination. Sharing calculators is not permitted in the examination room. Instruction manuals and external storage media, for example, card, tape, disc, smart card, or plug-in modules are not permitted in the examination room. Calculators with graphical display, data bank, dictionary, or language translations are not allowed. And candidates that have the calculators that have the capability of communication with any agency in or outside of the examination room are prohibited. Then the next several pages talk about the different sections and the specific objectives and content slash explanatory notes. So there is number theory on computation of all those objectives at section one then section two consumer arithmetic section three sets we should go through these and look at get an idea of what ex wh what you expected to learn for measurement five statistics algebra Six relations, functions, and graph is section seven. Section eight geometry and trigonometry. Then section nine vectors and matrices. Then there's a section on school-based assessment. We're going to go into more detail at the next time regarding school-based assessment.